Welcome, this is Zangler, the Tesla Semi Advocate, bringing you a video that was filmed um, Tuesday morning, November 4th, about uh, 9, between 9 and 10 a.m. Um, when I thought about the title for today's video, it dawned on me that I could use the expression or the uh, definition from, if you happen to watch SpaceX launches, Max Q, which is the maximum dynamic pressure um, on, a, on, a, on a vehicle launch where it is undergoing maximum me mechanical stress, sort of the not-so-sweet spot between atmosphere and acceleration. And I thought it appropriate here to borrow the term max Q, where Q is the quantity of production line equipment staged around the building. It is mind-boggling exactly how much stuff has been staged. So I thought I'd start the video from the uh, new entrance to the Giga Semi factory um, as though we were entering the factory in a vehicle. You may recall that many of these vehicles parked in that little shuttle shelter next to the inner guard gate, which eventually will be the only guard gate, um, is being used by the people, the Tesla employees and contractors down at the LFP battery um, construction site where they're standing up a lithium ion battery production line and um, prior to that there was there was a cluster you know what of vehicles parked along milan avenue and now there's signs and the the uh, story county sheriff's department has made arrangements with tesla to no longer park along the roadway the first thing I, one of the first things i always check on as we're at the um, we're at the northeast corner of the building, which is where the the uh, new entrance is, and I always like to come in and check on the progress here at the mega charger, and I do see what looks like a cabinet having been placed. No chargers themselves yet, but um, I see maybe two cabinets have been placed, or maybe the first object up above is just the power distribution box from the utility. This will be a big deal. You can see the light posts are in and they're going to have, I believe, eight um, mega charger stalls. And this is the eastern edge of the building. Remember, if you, you can, by the way, you can look back and see two years of progress, either on X or on YouTube. There's even a um, playlist on YouTube that would be extremely helpful if you wanted to support the Tesla Semi Advocates efforts at um, providing this um, coverage. Put that on in the background and turn the sound off and help the Tesla Semi Advocate. That little white truck in the top left is is the uh, is my uh, drone vehicle, my drone support vehicle. In any event, there's a massive amount of um, production line equipment, starting with that those blue and other bright colored um, containers. And believe me, it's not just that. Some of this has been here, but it seems to have been added to. And then that equipment on the left, the white, the white gray equipment there is new. You see a truck um, has just been um, unloaded. It's, that truck looks like it's got um, conduit pipe. Maybe it's in the it's in the process of being unloaded, and there's another one coming in. So look at all this equipment. All of this has numbering schematic. I thought about asking X if it, if it can, um, or Grok, if it can make any sense out of that numbering. Um, I believe there's PO purchase order numbers on it, but it also no doubt informs where in the assembly line this each piece goes. East end of the building flying from east to west, zooming from east to west, 
and um, virtually every all of the asphalt, except right there in front of the in, the main entrance, is complete. Millions of yards of concrete and um, an amazing amount of asphalt has been um, laid, poured, installed. More, more um, tubing, a big giant pile of tubing right there, which I, I believe is safe to say is for um, electrical, is conduit for running electrical to the different areas. That's a close-up of that equipment that I speak of. Curved, mostly curved pieces there. And there's some, there's the straight ones, the related straight ones, and um, doors have been installed, and that glass has been entered, has been um, installed and then removed. One of the BFDs, the big freaking doors, on stamping section G. Just inside that is a um, the second largest pit that was dug for the stamping equipment. I am unable to, during working hours, get closer or lower, which would really be helpful. The lighting isn't good anyway, but um, no real, uh, not really a good look inside there. This is the southeast corner of the stamping section, stamping, stamping section, section G. And we're about to see what I was talking about. Um, there's a slight look in there. You can see the hole that goes down. So um, that's interesting. That tells me that there's still more stamping presses to come. Um, very interesting. I didn't notice that on my first pass through. But I believe that that hole goes beneath a stamping press to allow the um, the spoils, the uh, sheet metal or or heavy metal, if it is in fact a frame, to be um, to go down below where it's collected for recycling. This is the gantry crane disassembled. And that might tell us that, yes, indeed, it's still going to be used. I would think that they would, uh, Griffin would remove their gantry crane and related equipment, which we have seen in action. Again, look back. You'll see some amazing footage of uh, huge stamping presses being delivered by double trucks, push-pull, heavy, heavy load trucks that brought those um, stamping presses from Giga Texas that had been stored there for over a year. Anyway, that gantry crane equipment, I believe, will be set up again over um, by that doorway when um, when the remaining presses are delivered. And those, my speculation has always been that that end of the building will um, stamp out heavy truck frames. To say I-beam isn't exactly right, it's more of a C-beam that they use on the um, Tesla Semi. And um, at the uh, Pepsi delivery event, they had the frame of a Tesla Semi um, on display. So you got, I got to take a good look at it. Here's a forklift maneuvering some um, supports. Not sure if those are permanent pieces or um, temporary pieces, but in so now we're starting to get over where we see even more 
um, max Q, evidence of max Q, maximum quantity of um, equipment staged outside the building. There's one of the BFDs half closed. We've seen the stamping presses, the uh, likely the sheet metal stamping presses. Apologize for that. Anyway, there's a load of equipment right there. I do take a quick, I do take a, a zoom in on it. No idea what that is. But it's a lot of equipment and there's a lot more to come still. What do you spy? Can you make heads or tails out of what this area could be? I do think, oh, it's Petra. We do get a look at the um, packaging. I have a previous video where we figured out what Petra does. I think it's a, I think it's a uh, automotive assembly line production support equipment. That looks like bins for organizing um, supplier parts, maybe even tires. So this equipment looks like racking and um, other support equipment. I did try to look up Petra, both on the internets and on Grok, and it failed miserably in producing the same results that I think we got in a previous video. Those look like tires, but no. Probably too soon for tires, unless they're just tires to um, <clears throat> dry fit the tire storage um, system, which, by the way, will be extensive. In order to produce 150 Tesla semis a day, that's a lot of tires. Sure like to have the tire contract. We are now flying along the western perimeter of the building. The truck actually backed up to one of the um, shipping doors. More, more equipment, massive amount of equipment. Basically, the entire factory is surrounded by production equipment, and there's more to come. Dropping off some um, crates with uh, some good-looking special equipment. I would imagine this is not super heavy, because they're able to use a dually one-ton truck versus a semi. He ends up pulling up and parking and gets out and uh, talks to some Tesla employees. Something being unwrapped there. More racking. If you look above the truck, where that forklift is, is a lot of is is more of the same, and to the right is more of the same looking crates with blue top wrapping. What's inside?
we're still going to work our way around the northwest corner where the flag is and see even more equipment. Look at all this. Again, every, everywhere where cars aren't parked seems to be covered with assembly equipment. Here's the chillers. Starting to believe that this is all related to the paint shop. As further evidence will uh, we'll, uh, present itself in a minute here. That semi-trailer, Evoqua, has to do with fresh water. They still haven't put in the gravel in this escape pit. And all of that equipment you see up against the building and um, outside where they've left a lane is all Jayco uh, paint shop equipment. So I expect to see a lot of these vents going up on the roof. And one of those, um, one of those vents has been unwrapped and we'll see it in a moment. Despite the spelling, it's pronounced Jayco, a paint, a state-of-the-art paint shop company. And here's the unwrapped equipment. I expect that those will go on the roof. I don't imagine that they go in between the paint equipment and the roof. Although only time, time will tell. So the Tesla Semi is um, the body, the doors um, are stamped steel. The only thing fiberglass is the fairing. They're also going to have to produce have a have a mini fiberglass shop and that might be over at this end too and they are going to have to produce 150 fairings a day at full ramp by the way as long as you've my, my thoughts are um, i had produced a forecast that the, this factory might start limited production first quarter 2026 based on Everything I'm seeing here, I think that might be a little aggressive. I would expect it, expect it might take um, until the end of the second quarter, middle end of second quarter for this, for all of this massive amount of production line equipment to be installed and, um, and tuned, dialed in, and then the ramp will start, a very slow ramp at first. Anyways, I absolutely want to thank you for joining. Hope this um, there's a there's a there's a certain addressable market for people who are very interested in what's going on at this factory. And I thank you guys and gals for um, for watching. Another flight in a few days.